Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when managing their Gradle projects. Our viewer is curious. Should I .git ignore my Gradle? They want to know if the Gradle and Gradle.bat files should be pushed to Git or left out of the repository. Let's dive into the purpose of these files and find out the best practices for handling them. All right, guys, we're back with another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find your solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's start by understanding what Gradlu and Gradlu.bat files are. These are wrapper scripts for Gradle, which is a build automation tool used in many Java projects. The purpose of these files is to ensure that everyone working on the project uses the same version of Gradle, regardless of what is installed on their local machines. Now, should you include these files in your Git repository? The answer is yes. It's a common practice to commit Gradlu and Gradlu.bat to your repository. By including these files, you make it easier for new developers to get started with your project, as they won't need to install Gradle separately. In summary, keep your Gradlu and Gradlu.bat files in your repository. They help maintain consistency and simplify the development process. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. You should not get to ignore your Gradle file. It ensures everyone on your team uses the same version of Gradle required for the project. Plus, you can easily update it to a newer version and share those changes. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.